heard the phrase Britcoin lately. So what is it? Well, in late July, it was reported that the Chancellor of the Exchequer, Rishi Sunak, may be planning to introduce a new digital currency labelled Britcoin. It would be the biggest upheaval to the UK's currency for centuries, and it would mean that the Bank of England would establish a digital equivalent to cash and take control of it. The arguments in favour of this seem to come down to the notion that it would save time and money because it would allow the Treasury to transfer Brit coins directly to people's accounts. It could also, we're told, save money for small businesses. Now, we're not the only country floating the idea of a new digital currency. China, seemingly always at the forefront of these things, is testing this at the moment, and the EU and USA have also hinted that they could do the same. And none of this should come as any major surprise. Cash has been, been becoming increasingly obsolete in recent decades, and paying by card is now far more common. But what this does is create a record of what is being bought and by whom. When you do your weekly shop, everything you buy is recorded. Unlike in the 80s, for example, when only the price was registered and not a description of the product. But since we started paying with cards, now not only are the products we buy recorded in detail, but our name is recorded next to them. Rishi Sunak has denied that he intends to fully replace cash with this new digital currency. But anyone can see that it's a step in that direction. The freedom cash afforded us is already pretty much gone. Some companies don't accept cash anymore, and cor coronavirus has given them the reason. Some people are very worried about this and believe that it will be used as a method of controlling what we can buy. This may sound dystopian, but look at the controls placed upon us over the last couple of years. Look at how digitalized we have become in pretty much every area of life. Now, dystopian spy societies don't seem so hard to believe, and they don't seem very far away either. We need to bring back cash. We need to actively promote its use, and to my mind, disallow companies refusing to accept it. It should be part of our push towards the restoration of our privacy. And if we do want to use digital or online services, they must have privacy built in. It's well known that data is, a, is bought and sold so that we may be targeted with advertisements. There's been a dramatic alteration of our privacy, and For Britain believes we have to start putting that into reverse. Privacy itself needs to be valued again. We are individuals. And as individuals, we have a right to determine for ourselves who knows what about us. It's a matter of trust and it's a matter of self-determination. So For Britain is committed to bringing back cash, bringing back privacy, to bringing back Britain. Thank you for watching. If you would like to stay updated with all of our latest videos, please like the video below and subscribe to our channel. As you probably know, For Britain is shadow banned on most social media, so it's really important to like and share our videos in order to get our message out. Thanks again for helping us to fight back. Thanks again for helping us to bring back Britain.